Hello everybody, welcome back to Cuso Grande, the pet video game tournament. We have two more matches for this weekend, and then next weekend we are off. Why? Because Big Bad Gamathon is coming up. Yeah, that's right, a full weekend starting Friday! I'm helping run that. It better be Friday. <laughs> Oh, honestly, it's going to be a lot of fun. Starting September 27th, indeed, Friday. So y'all better show up and have fun, because if not, I'll kick your butt. Yeah. Uh, it starts at 4 p.m. Eastern with King's Quest V, an adventure game. Uh, David TKI playing it on NES. You all should definitely check it out. Now, let's go ahead and go to the game reveal. Come on, Crappy, take us away. Whoa, watch out for Terminal City. You don't want it to be the last city. That's bad. Ugh. You know, I gave out a game that this next GM loves and honestly was extremely happy to give. So I'm excited to see what he has to give to us. Say hello to GM number three for the day. Time stock, wait, that is not the right one. Oh my gosh. Uh, do, 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 do. Just a second. Time stalker. There we go! Time Stalker, come in! <laughs> yeah, that was a that was the best reveal ever. That was so good. Are, are we lying on the internet again, Bro Sencha? I always lie on the internet. It's my job. Because I actually don't like Harder <laughs> Man for, with me radioactive man. I don't like that game at all. I thought that you were happy that we gave it out. Well, it was because I had an idea for a game that I was going to give out following it, but unfortunately, our players vetoed it. Oh, so what a guess. Who doesn't <laughs> veto a Simpsons game, huh? <laughs> Quite a few people this year. Apparently. I've given out three. Well, I'm glad uh, I got to fill the void there. So this isn't a Simpsons game. I've got that. What are you giving out? So... I'm actually giving out a non-platformer today. And this is a game that I gave this to test to a bunch of GMs, and a lot of them came back with, I'm not sure if this is a bad game or not, because I'm terrible at this. And then one of our GMs played it, then went, I need this, I need this uh, in Cusa Grande. <laughs> so we're going, to, we're going to the Genesis, and this is not a platformer, this is Junction on the Genesis. Yeah, Junction. I believe that I've actually played this because that freaking armadillo looks very familiar. Well, the players will get familiar with this armadillo over the next course of the hour. Whoever manages to maneuver this armadillo the best will take the victory. Whoever doesn't falls into last place. And we are eliminating a lot of players these days. They got to get good. I don't remember when I played this. Oh, no, 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 uh, duh, for a gauntlet state. It was, okay, here's the deal. I'm really good at uh, slide puzzles. And so uh, this game, I would be able to do just fine. <laughs> if that's what to do dude has up, is, is that the right? Yeah, that's the right game. That's the right game. Okay, yeah, I would do fine at Junction. <laughs> It's when we've had it, uh, I, I believe that it's shown up in some gauntlet somewhere, and that's it one of the those... GM bracket. That was the GM bracket that had it. Ah, the GM bracket. Yeah, I uh, uh, would be able to do this game just fine. But that's me. Why? I like stupid things like this. It's my life. I slide things around all day. I don't even lift my feet when I walk. I slide. Okay, uh, I don't just slide around. Okay, that would be stupid. Yeah, no, I don't. I, I don't have any. I don't have any actual commentary on that. <sighs> Is it healthy to just slide around, people? I need your. I need your professional opinions here. So how's how's your day been going, bro? It's been fantastic. Uh, you know, we've had two fan, two really close Kusagrani matches already. Uh, I got waffles and eggs because Justin is amazing and made me some. 
I'm, I was very happy about that. Uh, what else? I don't know. I played a little UFO 50 this morning. Uh, I had some people subscribe to me and that made me happy. Yeah, everybody, that's a way to make me happy. Uh, what else? What other good thing? Oh my, what are you doing, Kuchiri? You're just moving this avatar up and down. I was Kuchiri. laughing at it. Kuchiri, <laughs> bring it back, bring it back. Oh, sneaking, <laughs> sneaking. Oh, there he is. There's the boy. Whoa, whoa. Uh, uh oh, oh, he's shy. I think he might be a little shy. Okay. Oh, look at him. He's so shy. That's okay. That's okay. I see you. Well, everybody, we've got Junction with Buster Curry, Dude, dude, dude Mr. Zimbu, and the Kuchiri. <laughs> Kuchiri, why do, you, why do you make me laugh? <laughs> Oh, stop shaking. Stop shaking. Okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. Don't get angry. Stop it. Stop it. No, don't get angry. Don't leave me. Yeah. Yeah. Stay there. Stay there. Actually, you need to leave. We've got a match going on. You got to get out of here. Get out of here. Good cheery face. Actually, I should, I should tell the players that I'm ready uh, so that they get rid of their pictures. <laughs> Uh, by the way, there is a chat warning. Uh, I need to ask how true this is. Uh, is there going to be flashing? I don't recall any, but I, I could be wrong. Okay. Uh, Chiron, is that a genuine warning you're given? Oh, Kuchiri. Now we've got flashing based off of <laughs> those. Oh, I love it. I love our players. Like, Kusagrande is one of the best things I've ever done for better or for worse uh like I'm, I'm so glad it fills a void that I didn't know I had in my life yeah and uh just for the chat to know this is a 1920 match so three people will be eliminated with this game oh no oh apparently this game doesn't have flashing it's just Kuchiri was moving the sprite around a whole bunch <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, not a real warning, absolute, just a fake warning. Thank you, Chiron. You absolute <laughs> chatter. Okay, let me see. It looks like Buster Curry is ready. Mr. Zimbu ready. Dude ready. Kuchiri saying no, and you can't make me. Okay, we're doing the countdown, so I need you all to spam all of your best armadillos. What what would be good for this? Balls. Okay, spam balls, everybody. Spam your balls, everybody. Oh, I need to turn Karnov off. That's right. Okay, as soon as I see movement, I will start our timer. There we go, and I will actually turn on the game audio. So there's some... Let me just say, I have failed on that count, but at least we've got game audio now. Oh, enjoy. This is so Vaporwave before Vaporwave, let me tell you. <laughs> you get a time so bonus. The first yeah, the first couple of stages make this seem like this is not really a uh, belonging here. And then you get into when they want you to start making a lot of quick movements uh, in short succession and it becomes like really a big pain to play oh yeah i've gotten as far, i've gotten as far as stage 12 in this game and it has 50 stages yeah i feel like this would be in my wheelhouse but i'm also it, that's me it's an interesting game because it does let you slow down uh the ball it lets you uh uh, you know, speed it up when you're when you got your path ready. It it does let you figure things out really fast, but then you get to where you just have to make really precise, quick movements. And especially with the way the pieces move, it becomes really difficult to do. Yeah, I I could see that. Okay, wait, I I need to turn off the Karnov. We're we're not listening to Karnov right now. I'm a, I, you know, I said that I was having a fantastic day. I guess I'm a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
Uh, yeah, one of the one of the things that to do is learning is stage three is where the game ramps up the difficulty because you have to keep moving that the bounce back ones uh, over to keep getting the other tabs, and it becomes really difficult to do because the way you move the the slide in here is you have to go like around it to create gaps, and you your movement goes in the opposite direction you think it should for actually moving the tile. Yeah. So you you need to use that bounce back one and keep using it to go back and forth until you can get to the other side and then do it going the other way back. And so it, become, it, it becomes a, a matter of timing and speed rather than figuring out where the puzzle wants you to go. Wait, so, question. Is there an end spot for this, or do you just have to go around all of the edge sections? You have to, when you go around each edge portion, it eliminates it. When you eliminate all the edge portions, you've completed the stage. Gotcha. Okay, so yeah, this is kind of tricky. Oh! Yeah, see, now yeah. the dude seems to have it correct. You have... Or looked like they had it correct for a second. Uh, yeah, you don't have enough time to, to do that even under slowdown. You have to keep using the, the one that bounces it backwards to keep it online on the outer edges. And it, that's what, how this puzzle game works, honestly, because it really makes you focus on exactly how you should be uh, mo moving the puzzle versus just getting it on the right track. The first two give you just, you know, figure it out, get it on the right track, and then it starts to change it up into timing puzzles, and then it becomes a lot harder. Whee! Mr. Zimbu, unfortunately your ball touched. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Th so, for those who don't know, I follow the Jeff Probst School of Commentary, which is if you're doing commentary about balls, you do, you gotta talk about them. <laughs> like you you can't avoid it. You're going to say balls, and it, you're probably going to say balls a lot. That that's just how it goes, you know. Oh, looks like the dudes figured it out, and stage three's done. Very nice. Yeah, luckily it's very easy to see what stage players are on. Two players are currently on stage one. Kuchiri on stage three, Dudu Dude on stage four. So good amount of progress. And Mr. Zimbu clearing stage one, moving on to the second. Very nice. And yeah. Now look at the stage the Dudu's on. This is stupid. You basically have to get the ball jumped into the air and then move the the pyramid and the and the other with it over so that the ball will continue on so you can jump across. You're you're basically doing a timing puzzle with slowdown. Oh, this is it fantastic. Is so dumb. I uh, it Oh, you can just jump and jump and jump ish. Yeah, but the thing is, is that you have to get it over and if he doesn't get it over it lands and dies. Yep, that and unfortunately that's a game over. Do you have to go back to the beginning of the game? No, in your Good. in the configuration there is a there is a uh, stage select and you can pick the stage and I allowed them to do so. So we won't we won't be seeing stage one over and over and over again. I wanted to see progress. Now uh, someone pointed out that in order to see the ending for the game, though, you have to have a specific score or higher. So, you, if you just go to stage 50 and beat it, you're not going to have a high enough score that you'll actually see the way the game ends. <laughs> yeah, now, question about this, uh, because, yeah, you, you were saying that people were like, I'm not sure if this is a bad game or a good game. I feel like a lot of people are going to feel that way about this game by the end of this match. Honestly, I think it's a fun game, but it 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 just it it drives me absolutely nuts 
And the, the reason a lot of people said they weren't sure if it was a bad game or a good game is they're like, I'm not good at these types of games, so I can't really say whether I'm having a bad experience because I'm not good at it or whether the game, the game is the problem. Like, I had four different GMs give me the exact same answer. It was See, kind of funny. Well, I need to play it so that I can decide on whether or not it's bad, okay? I need to be the judge because I play games like this. <laughs> Oh, we have one of our GMs in chat that, that just says, yeah, it's bad. It's frustrating. Well, I mean, that's Polk. Polk didn't like Simpson <laughs> skateboarding. I mean, can you really trust I don't Polk's like Sim <laughs> I don't like Simpson skateboarding, so... I mean... <laughs> <laughs> okay, to be fair, almost nobody during Retro Book Club yesterday liked Simpson skateboarding. I gotta be honest. I think I was the lone person who was like, yeah, this is kind of like, I sure I put it as the least liked game of the night, <laughs> but I still liked it. We have, we have Buster Cur Curry in the match chat going, I regret thinking this would be fun. Kachiri saying, I legit don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, this is a game that I do not think is for everybody. Well, we had, uh, like, Kuchiri, Kuchiri saw what the game game was when I put out the screenshot and said, this is how I get eliminated. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, actually, stage three is very easy to do once you know what yeah, you're supposed to problem, do. The problem is, is knowing what to do. And then you get to stage four, and I agree. I agree with Chad. You know, what is this stage four like? But you have fifty levels, and this is what you're throwing at the players this early in the game. <laughs> and now, the one thing to note about the game, like I said, you have the ability by pressing a button to slow down the ball and to speed it up. Yes. And this is kind of important. Like, the speed up, a lot of people think, oh, you only do that when you've got the puzzle solved. Sometimes you actually have to speed up the ball to avoid the, the enemies that show up in the later stages. Oh, of course there are enemies. Why wouldn't there be? You know, what else did this game need? Uh, now, I, I do want to point out, one of my friends got this game for Mystery Triathlon of its smite. And he beat stage four in the most ludicrous way because he kept using pause strats to slow the ball down even more. Honestly, you do what you need to in order to beat a game in any sort of race environment, you know? Yeah. And it looks like the dude is finally going to be out of stage four. No! Oh, Mr. Zimbu was very close, but unfortunately wasn't able to get the last little bit. Yeah, th this itches a lot of things in my brain. I have played See, a reasonable number puzzle. of games like this. I love puzzle games. I mean, I made it, a puzzle game. I favorite, love them too. It's one of my favorite genres. But, like, I want to be able to move the blocks the direction that I'm pressing, and it feels like you're moving it the opposite way instead. And so it is really frustrating to get a handle on how the game works. Wait, okay, so are, when you... M let's say Mr. When Zimbo you, is right here. How do you move the block to the left? Like... Like you push, push right to move to move a block left. It feels like it is so weird. Are you moving the void? Yes, you're moving the void. That makes sense to me. I would do just fine. I need to play this game. <laughs> I can give I can give it to to you once we're done. Yeah. Like I said, I don't. I, I, the The game is fun when you get used to it, but just sitting down and playing it, it's going to frustrate a lot of people because it wants a lot of weird timing puzzles. And then you got a mess like what the dude's going through here where it's just like everything's turn or turn tabs or turn blocks. And so you have to kind of keep up with where the ball is going to go while making sure that you actually get into the right uh, slot. Yeah. I saw what the dude was trying to do there, but it didn't work. Yeah. And, and the thing is, uh, what's 
sticking Buster Curry and the Kuchiri is I don't know if they fully understood the manual, but like, oh, and their uh, Buster Curry ended up hitting one of the enemies. <laughs> but the manual manual does tell them that those half blocks send the ball backwards. And yes, uh, Chad is asking if this is, this game only has one music track. You are correct. It only has this music track for the entire new game. Okay. Like, it's weird, but it could be worse. <sighs> now, for those who are wondering, oh, apparently there's a new track after level 10. Possibly. Oh. If there is, then I that then I don't remember it. Flick said I got the level level twelve. There's hope in this world. I don't remember it. It's been a long time. Well, the developers for this game, Microneft, uh, apparently were from Hokkaido, Japan. Uh, they made a lot of mahjong games. Uh oh. You know what happens when I see mahjong. I gotta go find out what kind of Mahjong games they made. Okay. Uh... Yeah, they also made a game called Apu. <laughs> A-P-P-O-O-O-H. Apu. Uh, apparently that is a wrestling game. What?! This, this is getting even better. They made Apu and it's a wrestling game. <laughs> You know, I I have not made a poo uh, on the computer before. I gotta be honest. Uh, they also made wait, Raiden? Are you are you serious? Okay, maybe they helped yeah, in some, one of the ports Raiden. for Raiden. Yeah, Raiden Trap was one of the. Oh, Heavy Nova, y'all love Heavy Nova, right? Uh, they published Heavy Nova. That game sucks. Warrior of Rome, what's that? Okay. That looks very strategic and boring. I don't want to play that. Okay. Uh, Robotica for Sega Saturn. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that they made that I really don't care to go and try. And as far as I can tell, most of their Mahjong games were actually on platforms, so... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but you're probably not going to find too much questionable content in their Mahjong when it's on Dreamcast. Unless I'm lying. Wow. I'm actually fascinated with with a Kuchiri strat. What's Kuchiri strat here? Kuchiri is taking the long uh uh area. Oh, moving the long area. Yeah. Yeah, that that's definitely not the way to go using Well, it's not very obvious that the short section is a bounce section like uh, well, if like I, I said, looked at that, it, I would... It's listed in the manual. Oh, if it's and, listed and in I the manual. Them, yeah, I gave them the manual, and in the... Here, I'll pull up exactly what it says. Okay, it's un it's under blocks, and it says special, special blocks. Dead ends, backtrack your path. And it shows examples of those blocks. Am I allowed to just say if you're struggling, you might want to check the manual, or would that be? Uh, yeah, you can always, uh, you can always say uh, like that's not a bad thing to let everybody know that if you're struggling, check the manual. That may help. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, so it's not a bad thing. Like, honestly, stage three, 
uh, is not that far behind stage seven. And once you are able to figure out some of these stages, uh, as with classic puzzle games, the difficulty isn't generally linear. It's going to uh, escalate, de-escalate. Uh, I know that with NES puzzle games, especially Puznik, it wasn't just harder, 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 like a lot of modern puzzle games tend to be. Uh, yeah, this this kind of just... It, first two stages were kind of straightforward, and then this third stage is just such a ramp up in difficulty that if you don't understand what it wants of you, then you're definitely going to keep struggling. Because because the game wants you to learn here what those half half measures will do. Yeah. And then to use use it just to kind of walk yourself along. Yeah. So people know this is a 19 was it 19 20 point match? 19 20 match. So that just... means that only one person will either make it to the bracket or make it to the tiebreaker if we have a tiebreaker it is going to come down to that buster curry getting a game over not a huge surprise this game why do you have a life system in a puzzle game because that's how they did it back in the 80s and 90s everybody that's just life Okay, looks like uh, we've got an official from Jerry. Okay, so it looks like we have an official. Uh, what I'm saying is that we are going to consider the Kuchiri forfeiting for this match. It doesn't happen very often, but if you... It does happen on occasion. Uh, that is an official tap out. Great job trying to get through it, but sometimes the game is just not going to be your vibe. Uh, with that said, I always want to try to play as much as possible if I'm playing in a game, even if it doesn't work for me. Like, I may know that uh, I'm going to lose, uh, but I still want to keep going. But at the same time, I'm... Uh, tapping out, I, I would prefer that over a rage quit any day, which I've gotten as well. <laughs> yeah, and it, and it, it's, you know, it's, sometimes it's understandable. Sometimes there's just a game that, you know, not only are you not going to enjoy it, but it, it's just going to make you upset playing. And honestly, if, if that is the case, then it is probably best to, to do that because you don't want to get yourself mad and say something that you're going to regret later. Yeah, I... I and I've, 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 I've come near that with, when I've been playing too, and it's just one of those things, like, I don't really want to to do that. And, you know, it's, it, uh, it's better if you know how you are going to react to something. Yeah. I... I still find it really funny uh, with some of the people who, like, got super angry. One of the, like, Kuchiri is not angry about this, by the way, uh, which I am very happy about. It's just Kuchiri knows that this game is not vibing with him at all, and it's not going to click. And uh, that that's fine. I completely understand. But, like, one of the games that really pissed somebody off one time was Smurfs, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, by Infogrames for Super Nintendo. And, yeah, afterwards they rage quit the Discord server, and I'm like, oh, no, I broke somebody because of freaking Smurfs out of everything here. Yeah. Oh, and... Uh, I want to mention something that Buster Curry said in the in the match chat. Buster Curry is talking about how my brain keeps breaking as I move pieces. Something about the isometric is messing with me. And the funny thing is, this game is available on Game Gear as well, and you don't have the isometric. You are straight uh, up and down, and it actually makes it easier. I believe it. I... Yeah, the isometric definitely uh, can throw you off a little bit. Uh, I, I think that it... <sighs> I don't hate it as much, but I've played puzzle games that are in isometric. 
maybe uh, I've played a lot of bad puzzle games, you know, now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Yeah, now, because players are able to go back and choose whatever level they were on before and return to it, uh, that is, you know, completely fine if they end up running out of time or dying over and over. Don't worry too much about death. Worry more about looking at the map and figuring out, like, from the default position, what do I need to move and what should I leave the same? Uh, yeah. because if you start moving everything around, you've broken the puzzle. Uh, well, and one of yeah. the thing, one of the things about this game that's also really rude, if you're looking at either Mr. Zimbu or, uh, to dude's stream, you see some tiles that have multiple paths on there. And as far as I could tell playing this game, those are random, which ball, which way the ball will take. Oh yeah. I honestly could not tell you if if I'm correct or not on that because every time I would do one of those it would go it would go a direction and I wouldn't be sure exactly why it was going the direction it was going. Oh, uh, according to chat, the manual says the direction the ball takes is based on how many t uh, many times you've moved the tile. Okay. Well, that that's something that I missed in the manual. Then, so even even as a GM, I'm I'm able to uh, miss what I'm supposed to be getting from a manual. I mean, yeah, welcome to Cuso Grande. Sometimes that's how it goes. Let me see if I can. Uh... Aha! I can do that. Okay, just so that we have it official. <laughs> you you told Buster Curry that there's a non isometric version on the game here in the first response. Can I play that instead? <laughs> sure, after the match. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, as it turns out, uh, This game is a little bit rough. I mean, Buster Curry still on stage three. Dude, dude, I think the game is clicking with dude, dude, all right. You know, if we get to stage yeah. 10, I'm going to switch the music over to see if it is indeed different. Because like I'm, I'm vibing with this music, but I'd like something different. By the way, I didn't talk about we've got refs who are helping out to keep track of this match. Uh, luckily, it's not too difficult for the refs. We we're trying to make your day easy today. OK, you need a vacation. BBG is coming up and it's going to be a very busy time. Uh, since you can see the stage at the top right, it's not really too stressful for the refs, but at the same time, making sure that players don't randomly skip a level because they do have level select is something that helps. So uh, they are still very important, making sure that it happens. The refs for this match are Linkura. Wait, no, JK. Uh, let me go down, scrolling down. Red Door before. Oh my God. Okay. We've got Blastinorps. Clades is just is junctioning the balls okay how do you junction balls <laughs> i mean uh, I we're learning think... in this game uh we've also yeah, got i don't think i want to know about that you know that sounds like some some final fantasy 9 stuff that i've just not interested in learning oh my gosh or eight excuse yeah me. i was fantasy gonna eight. say you junction in eight you just have a grid in ten. Nine. Nine is you use equipment uh, anyways, blah, 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 blah. We've also got uh, Nakarashi Junction. What's your function? Taven's on a roll, and Okami made the long play the refs are using. Aha! <laughs> okay. So we have a resident expert here for the game. Oh, I don't know if Mr. Zimbu knows that that thing following them is an enemy. I mean, eh, it touches you, you die once, big deal. 
Yeah, and I, I told them to set their 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 stock to maximum because I wanted them to have as many chances on a stage as possible. Oh yeah. I mean, just uh, having to go and, and reselect the stage over and over again, annoying. Yeah, the uh, fun thing is this this game does have multiple game over screens, so you're not seeing the same one over and over again. Apparently, there's a task of this game that is silly. Radama Ford, would you like to link that in a Twitch chat so that people can go and check it out? Uh, of course, like I, I fully support sharing uh, silly things. Share the silly. Uh, yeah, and for those who are wondering, we have a white flag on Kuchiri's side. It was offered in peace because Kuchiri uh, did not jive with this game at all. And that is something that sometimes you just gotta do. Some 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 people, you know, I'm, I'm very, I'm personally a never give up, never surrender type of guy. You know, Galaxy Quest, great movie. Uh, but at the same time, I don't fault anybody. So these games are bad. <laughs> This is a bad video game tournament, okay? Despite what you may have seen with the previous match, we are primarily a bad video game tournament. And it looks like the dude has made it to stage 10. Wow. Well, let me go ahead. I'm, I'm going to switch over. I think it might be stage 11, probably like the first 10 stages. It'll be the same music, but let, let's see what type of audio we have over there. And I'll stay on the dude for a while to see if it does change. Yeah. So the company that made this, uh, Micronet, some of the people who worked on it, uh, especially the music, we've got Izel Nakasugi. AKA Shaka? Was that Shaka? Yeah, Shaka. Uh, oh no. They worked on the audio for other games like Virtual Mahjong, uh, Curse for Genesis. They worked on the programming for Apu. That's good. Uh, Black Hole Assault. I don't know any of these games in their history. But apparently they worked on quite a few different games as director and programmer. They the, they were the director for Heavy Nova. That's not a good thing. That's just a reality here. Heavy Nova is very, very bad. I'm not familiar with that one. <laughs> uh, well, I don't want to see it ever again, so... You, sh you could go play it sometime. Actually, never want to see it again. Maybe want to see it again. I just don't want to play it again. It's not good. It's one of the worst Genesis games in existence. Uh, yeah. And the person who directed this game directed Heavy Nova. I guess we can... Yeah. Maybe they weren't the best at management when it came to video game design, but still, this game has a lot of decent ideas. It's just the execution isn't the best. It could be a lot better. Uh, yeah, get rid of the isometric. I know that you were trying to take advantage of a faux 3D space in order to make it look more visually appealing, but because of the way that it's skewed, you've got a lot less space to actually see the puzzle. And with the colors here, like, I'm colorblind. These colors do not work very well for me. Like, the, the purple and green, it, uh... Like, I can still see the tracks, but it makes it a little bit more difficult for me to see, and I'm not a fan of that. Uh, yeah, some, someone in chat was asking, what is what is the, the goal? And it it is to eliminate all the tabs on the side. When you get all of the uh, 
tabs done, then you, uh, then the stage is over. Yeah, the semicircles that are sticking out on the sides, you need your ball to go around them, and then they disappear. So, do 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 getting rid of one right there, and going for a second one here, uh, nope, maybe not. That's okay. There were green blobs. What are the green blobs on some of those blocks? I can't tell. I'm looking at the manual on that, and it looks like it just... It sends it to one of the directions that is available to exit with, as far as I can tell. I don't recall running into these, if you want me to be perfectly honest. Oh, okay, so it's, a uh, who knows what they do. They're there. Yeah, if they send it, I hope that it's not a random direction. If it's a random direction, this game is evil. Well, I never claimed this was a nice game. Well, I know this is Cusa Grande. I mean, oh my gosh, did you dude with the save? Very nice job. Yeah. Just gonna need to do a little reconfiguration here in order to get everything lined up the way that you want. Good, good. But I think that might be almost the end for dude. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Almost the, how, oh. <laughs> Very good push, but unfortunately not able to keep that going. Uh, yeah, the dude worked himself into a wall, which is part, like, under non-race conditions and conditions where I can just sit and chill with this game for a while, I actually think that I would have a blast. But under race conditions, like, especially if you start panicking, uh, puzzles do not work when you're panicking. Like, so my first experience with this game was in a shuffler, so that was even worse. Oh, fun. That would absolutely be doable and not at all the nightmare that it sounds like. Oh, no. Today, dude said in the match chat, this is making me feel slightly nauseous and I'm not entirely sure why. Yeah, uh, I do recommend, like, honestly, if players do start feeling a little bit nauseous uh, with the game or something, go ahead and take a second. You can step away from the game, pause it for a bit, you know. Uh, the priority, like, we're not here to make you ill. Yeah. In, unless you're playing Peggy the Peach 3. But also, you should take breaks when playing Peggy the Peach 3, because holy crap. Yeah, if, if you're ever having a problem in a match, you, you probably want to take just a short break. I know you're un under time and everything, but uh, a match is going to be really uh, hard if, if you're trying to fight through something else instead. Yeah, and I know that we talked a little bit about this with the last match as well, considering that we had... Uh, a typing game uh, and with how fast the typing had to be in order to get a very fast speed like breaks were necessary yeah Buster is doing a surprisingly good job at uh, this stage this is absolutely not the strategy that I would use it's an interesting strategy. I'll give it that. Yeah, but sometimes but where's yeah, your focused. bounce? Your bounce is all the way at the bottom right. Oh my gosh. You you cannot finish it without the bounce. Yeah. But yeah, occasionally we've had games uh, where like motion sickness was not just a possibility but absolutely expected i wouldn't have expected it with this game but at the same time the like perspective is just weird and with the weird goopy blub blub at the bottom right like what is this why is there the blub blub 
I have no idea. Ooh. It just seems like an aesthetic choice. Yeah, what the goop? I like the jet plane when you get game over. Like, why is that? There's so much that I don't understand about this game. What's the story? What's the lore? Why is there a jet plane? Why does the manual show somebody, like, wakeboarding? I don't understand any of this. <laughs> I don't even think there is lore they put in this game. They don't. Just kind of threw it together and they, there's there's no story to it at all. Okay, I, I want to know I, why, I, there's, why there's an armadillo that's being put into a ball. I like, need to share this with everybody. Like, why is this here? Why is this in the manual? <laughs> I understand the the information there, but what the crap? Ah, uh, I've got a question in ref chat. I will go and review. So feel free to uh, chat a little bit if you want. Uh... Okay. Honestly, it looks like a lot of the players are stuck on one puzzle each for each of the ones. It looks like the dude just got out of one they were stuck in in stage 10. Very nice. What's happened into Orb? I have no idea. Orb wins a prize. Like I said, I when I last played through this game, as far as I did to 12, uh, was a couple of years ago. Oh, we do have other music. Yes. And we also have a plane in the background. That's cool. Why? I mean, why not, you know? Put something interesting. Don't just make it a flat color, I guess. This is the Genesis. The Genesis can do so much, like put a freaking plane behind a puzzle. And again, it, it, it just, it's weird because it really doesn't make sense. Chat, it's a new plane of existence. <laughs> it's too stressful. So for uh, the GM bracket, you did give this out in a gauntlet. Which stage did you uh, give out? I didn't give this. I didn't give this out. Oh, you gauntlet. didn't. It was given out. It was given out in uh, 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 stage fifteen, though. Oh no. Okay, so with all the nightmares and the difficulty that we've seen so far, we still haven't seen the depths of how bad this is. Oh yeah, this get this gets harder and harder as you go on. Like the stage just looks like spaghetti at this point. I mean, technically you've got all the pieces that you need, but what's the right order? <laughs> it looks like uh, Mr. Zimbu finally got out of stage six, and the dude is on stage twelve. Buster Curry, unfortunately, is just walled on stage three. You know what? That is completely fine. That happens sometimes. Yeah, Buster Curry still has not figured out the bounce section. I think that, unfortunately, is going to be uh, the undoing of Buster Curry, not figuring out how the bounce works. I, like, I, I think they saw that it bounced, but I don't think they understood what it meant. Hey, Max, thank you so much for raiding. Good to have y'all here. Come and enjoy some of Junction. <laughs> yeah, as well as this guy having a lot of fun in the manual, doing nothing in the game, but having fun in the manual. That's what matters, you know? 
Do, 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 do. The music is so stressful. <laughs> so Mr. Zimbu, once they got out, once they got out of the stage that they were stuck with, have, has now made it to a uh, a few stages further. They cleared seven and eight very quickly. Okay, so stages one through ten are in what's called Ripple. Uh, Eleven through twenty is Fly Away. Twenty-one through thirty is Flowing. Thirty-one to forty, we've got Fun Fair. And finally, forty-one through fifty is Mecca. See, you've got all of the important themes here. All, all five of them, you know, it's very, very helpful. I, I do like the little armadillo in, uh, in the manual, though. He's kind of cute. Like, let me share this guy, okay? Like, you can't say no to this dude. Look at him. <laughs> he is so sad about getting a game over. Well, goodbye. Too bad. You got game over. <laughs> yeah, uh, Max, essentially what you're looking at here is, like, I wouldn't consider this very much like Marble Madness uh, as much as it is a slide puzzle that's timed and the ball and your timer are timed. Oh, why are there multiple timers in this game? Like, the ball <laughs> is technically a timer because if you don't manage to deal with it soon enough, uh, you have to deal with the repercussions. Yes, you control the board and not the ball. Uh, the you ball. You have a little control over. You have a little control over the ball. You have a control over how how the ball, uh, how fast the ball goes. Yeah. That's about it. I don't consider that control. Like, if you give somebody a car with no steering wheel but a pedal, they'd say, "Well, I can't control this." This game is, like, it's got the pedal. That's all it's got, the pedal. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Zimbu, you're in trouble. You're dead. Just, just, no, no. Oh, you found a way. You found a way to survive. Very nice. Yeah, but the question is, is once the jump happens, where do you go? Uh, gonna land on yep. the pause symbol, and unfortunately, because it's not moving vertically, I think that this won't count. Yep. Yep. You lost a red ball. Not my red ball. That was my favorite ball. Yeah, I feel, I, I feel bad for Buster Curry because they've been stuck on this stage for a while. Oh, Buster's learning how the oh. bounce works, though. Yeah. Maybe maybe that'll give them the ability to unlock what they need to do for this level. Maybe it is this game. I'm feeling nauseous as well. What the crap? <laughs> Why do I feel nauseous from this game? I don't know. I, I never really felt nauseous from it. Like, oh, this is oh, legit. No. Like, this is legit. <laughs> yeah, Time Stalker, I'm gonna go ahead and let you continue for a second. I'm gonna stand up for a minute, okay? I'll be back yeah, in a minute or two fine. because what the crap. <laughs> I'll be right back, everybody. Enjoy this, and if you too feel nauseous, feel free to stand up and go do something for a couple minutes, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what this stage is that the dude's got to, because I haven't seen this one before. This one, uh, this looks painful.
Uh, Buster Curry with the F in the in the high score table. But they are on stage four, so that's uh that's at least progress. Yeah, I, I think though honestly, in in Cusa Grande we do get a lot of platformers, and so not getting a platformer can throw a a player off just because you know you're expecting to be able to get a bad platformer and you get thrown a puzzle game and all of a sudden you're having to learn it on the fly. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Yay. Yeah, I just need to get away for a second. I think I'm good for now. Yeah. Uh, Buster Curry managed to get out of stage three. Ooh, nice game over screen there for Mr. Zimbo. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, game over for Mr. Zimbu, that's fine. Like, Mr. Zimbu's like, I don't know how the junction tiles work. I think I know, but I don't. Uh, I love to I love to do dude's responses. I'm not sure the tiles know either. <laughs> it's true. Okay, so my rule right now is I'm gonna not look at the screen very much because I feel ill <laughs> and I don't know what it is what what about this game is making multiple people feel nauseous can anybody describe sure. it? is it the music is it the I, haven't... I don't know I don't either like I said I my, my thing with this I don't I'm not sure why people are getting nauseous I just, it just to me it just is I look at it and go, what is this mess? Yeah, usually if they're they're balls, I, look, I, I look don't at, get I nauseous. Look at a, That's yeah, I look weird. at a screen like 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 what uh what is going on with um uh to do dude and I'm like, okay, what am I looking at? Uh, someone in chat is saying maybe the maybe it's the constant speeding up and slowing down that, that is could causing be it. it. Yeah. Oh, the dude, dude's on a stupid level. Oh, oh no! This, this, this I I remember seeing. This is the one from the Gauntlet. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to your nightmare. You use the slowdown, and otherwise. No, I would be able to do this one. Yeah. But again, I am a sucker for slide puzzles. <laughs> this game, you do have to give me anything to work with. Yeah, this, this level... Uh, absolutely does not look fair but now nah, you you can do this there are a few different ways to go about it once you have the ball on one of the longer sections you can go ahead it it's complicated it's complicated Luckily for anyone you can feeling do nauseous but this one we only have 10 minutes left oh thank god Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm making you nauseous with this game, bro. <laughs> I know, I don't know how. What the crap? That was a neat game over screen there. Like, like the multiple game over screens is actually kind of a nice touch. I didn't even see that one. What was it? It looked like uh, a volcano on fire game over on. But it's not related at all to anything in this game. There's no story to this game as far as I can tell. There's nothing. It's just a ball on tracks. It's ball. The th the lore is balls. <laughs> well, this game is balls, too. Pfft. 
Also, I love that there's an armadillo as like the main character in the manual and on the box art. Does he ever appear in the game? Uh, only on the title screen. Well, what the crap? He's better than the entire game. Okay, <laughs> like my opinion about this game has changed drastically over the course of the last hour. <laughs> Went from I want to play this game to I hate this. Like, I hate this. I, I would still kind of want to play it, but honestly, I have felt pretty nauseous from, oh my gosh. To dude trying as much as possible. With that said, I don't think to dude can lose at this point. No, like, I don't. I don't think there's any way either of the other players are going to. Uh... Mr. Zimbu is making a valiant effort, and Buster Curry, despite how long level three walled her, she managed to get through it. Okay, and is currently on stage five. Like uh, that's the thing. Like. Even if you aren't going to win, making a little bit of progress for yourself, like finally figuring out that one thing that stumped you, that is fantastic pra practice when it comes to Cusa Grande. See, I think part of where to do is going wrong with this one is that you, you have to start your second tile that you're using way further down than you think you need to because you're going to move the first tile down to it. You're going to oh, use it as yeah. kind, of a, a kind of a, kind of like you would in a relay race. You you hand it off to one and then you run a little ways and then you hand it off to the other. That's kind of how I think you have to do this puzzle is you have to, you can't you don't have enough time to keep swapping the, the um, tiles around like that. Yeah, let me actually see oh, is there a way to screen draw on OBS? I don't think so. We need a screen drawing thingy. Uh, let, let me go ahead and use text. I'm gonna use text for this. Okay, so... Uh, okay, how do you and, make and an I arrow? Know, I know one of the other players commented that, that, that there's a, a time figure where you have only a... All, your slowdown timer doesn't reset her lives. So if you run out of slowdown, you have to game over to get it back. Okay, so what I would do is take this tile. Uh, okay. Move it sort of over. I'm, I'm just trying to lay this out so that y'all can see, and then uh, we're going to have... I need to copy the downward arrow. Oh my gosh, come on, down arrow, down arrow. Close, okay. Okay, so take that tile and move it to the right where, <laughs> sort of like where the dude dude is going here. And then I need another text source, bam. Uh, we're adding a down arrow and we're gonna move from, uh, because if you can manage to move it here and then sort of redirect it, can I oh, rotate at all? Dude got there. Dude got there. Hey, dude got. Never mind. Whatever. Dude got it faster than I could make freaking arrows. <laughs> so I love I love Omega Numbers comment in the in the, in the match room in the refs match room saying when the Game Gear version is the non Kuso version. <laughs> Yeah, that's scary that the Game Gear version is better than the Genesis version. Terrifying. Oh, wait, no, there's the dude parasailing. Oh my gosh, he was in the game. Not related to the game at all, but he was there. I saw him. You know what? I think part of it is the music. The music is also speeding up and slowing down. Yeah, that's kind of a little weird. Actually, I think it's probably more the music than the game. Yeah, now Radama Ford is pointing out that you can change operation mode. 
which I believe is control mode, by changing which port the controller is in, and uh, so if you plug it into player one or player two. While that sounds weird, that is not necessarily atypical for games before the Genesis. Commodore 64 did that, uh, Amiga at some times did that, heck, even NES, I believe the NES port of Pac-Land did that, where if you change the port, uh, it changed the control scheme that you were using. But that said, uh, by the time that the Genesis came out, you could just change it via menu. Like, there are menus that people made so that you didn't have to change the port. Yeah, uh, Time Stalker, I'm pretty sure it's the music that was making me nauseous more than anything else. Wow. Oh, what a game. <laughs> See, I grew up with Genesis, so I really don't notice the parts of the music as much. Well, like, the music itself is fine, it's just the speed up and slow down is really, really bad. Oh, yeah. I won't disagree there. saying that they're getting sick and they're not even the one playing it. What? There apparently is a cursor mode for the game. So that you move a cursor, like if you move a cursor all the way to the top of a row and push it, it'll slide the entire row. Yeah, that's that's the operate that's operation one. Yeah. Which is not the mode they're playing. So that was yeah, as far as I can tell, uh yeah, that's just an options menu thing and not a controller port thing. But I'm curious about the actual controller ports as well. We've got less than a minute left. To do dude has been chilling for a while, again feeling a little bit ill, and that is fine. Oh, Mr. Zimbu, if they'd moved, moved the other tile to to the right, they probably could have gotten that one on the far right there. I can't wait for this music to stop. Never before <laughs> have I had it. No, have I had music make me feel nauseous? I've, I've gotten a little nausea from video games, but not because of music. I mean, we did have audio make Corn Dan have a migraine one time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, people have different reactions to different things. And there we go. That's it. Yeah, the dude, dude took off his headphones in order to recuperate, and it helped. So I think it was the audio that was getting a few of us nauseous. And there we go, that is time. We have granddad's music from Stardew Valley playing. Is that really what popped up? Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Well, there we go, we are done. Yeah, this was absolutely a blowout by to do dude making it all the way to stage 16 buster curry making it to six mr zimbu to nine kuchiri putting the flag up a little bit earlier but still making a valiant effort in the first part of the match it's just sometimes the game doesn't jive with you and that is how life goes well let me see yeah to dude if he wishes he can come and join voice uh he wants to mute the game first which is Understandable. A 
Okay, let me bring... And there we go! The dude, dude is here! Hello and congratulations on making it all the way to stage 16! Yeah! Yeah, that's... Uh, that was an interesting puzzle game. It's actually kind of fun. Yeah, but like, I... I, I wish it didn't make me nauseous. So. <laughs> yeah, same. Like... Sure, none of us got a migraine and threw up, uh, be like with a game that we had previously, Metadroid. Uh, but this game, like, I was feeling nauseous as well, and I'm pretty sure it's the music. It, especially in the second area, it got like the speed up and slow down and speed up and slow down of the music. It was subtle mm -hmm. enough that, uh, it wasn't very easy to tell that it was doing it, but it was enough that I just, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I could tell when I stopped playing for a bit, and then I was, and then uh, Flannel mentioned in uh, chat that maybe it's the music course, and I took off my headphones. It was definitely a little bit better, so. <laughs> Isn't that weird? That is really weird, yeah. Yeah, well, what can you say? The person who did the music was also the uh, uh, director for the game, uh, what was it, Heavy Nova, for a lot of bad games, okay? So, like, they truly pumped out some crap, and this music, as much as it almost sounded good, it was just enough. Uh, yeah, it was, yeah, it was, I'm about 90% sure it was the music. If I just sat there and listened to the game uh, and didn't watch it, I'm pretty sure I would have the same effect. With that said, you survived. Nobody vomited as far as I'm aware, which is a good step for Cusa Grande. Uh, yeah, the game itself, what did you think of the puzzle? You said that it was kind of interesting? Yeah, it's an interesting kind of puzzle. It's like Pipe Dream-ish, but with some extra objectives. It's an, it's an interesting take on the sliding puzzle uh, thing. Yeah, I'm personally pretty good at sliding puzzles. I, w I was telling people, like, this game feels like my jam. If I muted it, I would much more prefer it. I could not play it with audio uh, now, now that I know that's what was causing it. Uh, at least I would try it with the audio muted to see if I can get through part of it. Uh, but I'm, I've am i done a lot of slide puzzles. Uh, I'm, mm -hmm. n I don't necessarily love slide puzzles, but I have learned how to do them well enough that I, I feel like... absolutely this I absolutely despise sliding fossils and I that's why I learned to be good at them so I don't have, don't have to spend much time with them oh perfect that's a see everybody if you're watching Cusa Grande one of these days you're gonna get a slide puzzle and get eliminated if you don't practice I promise you it will happen it has happened many times before and it will happen again slide puzzles will get you uh, yeah, good job. Like, if you despise them, I'm glad that you've practiced them. I, uh, I don't despise them. I just don't particularly like them. I don't know anybody who likes slide puzzles. Anybody no, in chat? No, kind of formulaic after a while. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, it's formulaic. But with that said, this is at least a twist that makes you think in a different way, and, like, some of the level designs actually made you really try mm -hmm. out quite a few different strategies, like the one where you only had two pieces to work with. Yeah, that was the stage I just beat, stage 15. That was uh, wild. It was really fun, actually, to figure out, even if my initial reaction was that was that's impossible. <laughs> but it's doable. You just need to use the slowdown function in the game a bit. Yeah, the slowdown. And also, like, there are some... The quote-unquote obvious solution doesn't work and you have to do a little bit more positioning in yeah, order to make it it's work. It's hard to tell with the isometric perspective that the uh, checkpoints or whatever that the little uh, farther apart than you think. Yeah, I actually think that it's kind of clever the way that uh, the way that it makes you like a good puzzle game presents you with a situation where it seems like the solution is obvious but when you try it, it doesn't work, and so you have to try a non-obvious solution. And this game did it. I cannot fault some of the puzzles in this. Some of the some of the levels yeah. look like spaghetti, but like that that's my biggest complaint. Like just having too many pieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely it, there's definitely a little too much in some of the levels, and uh, the slowdown did shouldn't have 
should not have been a limited resource. That should have just been unlimited. I don't know why they made unlimited. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need. I don't either. That that was that was one of those things that's like it, it becomes frustrating because the slow if you used to slow down too much and then you you still have lives you no longer have it's like why? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're still punished with like like your lives running out and you have limited time on the levels anyway. So it's not like you can stay and slow down anyway. So. Like yeah, considering that, like, the main thing that you're having to deal with is keeping <laughs> your ball alive, you don't need a timer, okay? If you really, uh, like, there's no point. It's an artifact of the time, you know? Uh, that's the genesis for you. If, if there's going to be a puzzle game, they're going to slap a timer on it, and it doesn't need to be there. Bam. Uh, but with that said, do you think this is a good game or a bad game or both? Or neither. It's uh, it's one of those games that's bad, but it could have been good with just like some small changes to its uh, design design choices. Yeah, we do have For to example, say the music. That... The, being, the music of making people sick would have been a really good change, but uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm curious yeah, uh, if the I, Game I... Gear music is different because if so, I might try that version because the uh, it's not isometric, uh, which helps. And if the music doesn't yeah. make me vomit, then that's even better. It might actually be a good game. Better on Game Gear? Question mark. Yeah, that's... it is better on Game Gear. <laughs> no, full, full stop. It is. Okay. I played okay. Game Gear version. It's much better. That's the only I, game I, that I, I can tried say. The game Gear version as well, then. Yeah. The the thing I would say is that I that is one of the things I strive for as a GM is to find a game that's bad but also has you know could have been good or might be fun to play even if it's bad you know i want people to have fun with their games so seeing a lot of people say that it was making the sick it's like oh i didn't intend that no i like it <laughs> like come on i need to f feel all emotions all uh reactions that are possible nausea was not an emotion i expected but it's one that like i'm glad that we got to experience with this <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, you never really know how a game is going to go with certain people, and uh, it, it was just something that struck to do dude and I, and uh, maybe a few other people. I don't know if anybody else felt that, but I certainly did. Yeah. Uh, so what are you doing these days? Do you have anything going on that people should know about? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's I, fine. I, I, I really don't have much time for anything uh, in my life, unfortunately, except occasionally joining uh, small races, so I don't really have anything people can watch going on. Well, I'm glad that we're able to have you here and that you're able to join occasionally, you know? As long as you're enjoying life away from streaming, uh, like, uh, you know, hopefully the hobby of joining us occasionally is enjoyable, but otherwise, you, you know, no, go and fine. rock it's always, light. It's always it's always fun to be introduced to some new games, bad or not. I'm glad because whether you like it or not, you have gotten a high enough score to at least, let me see, did dude dude. Uh, I believe that you are, uh, it qualified for the tiebreaker if we have the tiebreaker. So you may be yeah, able to make it into the bracket. So. Yeah, you're at that threshold right there. Oh. You've got good at luck. least one more game in you, so good luck. Yeah, we'll uh, go ahead and let fun. you go then. Time stock or anything that you've got going on that people should know about? Uh, Wednesday nights, uh, we're doing our uh, Bizhawk Shuffler Cafe with Hulk Kitsune and Fahrenheit and Mifa Rivia and Baranth. Uh, we, have, we have a good group that goes on. Um, I actually got some do music to put on my uh, intermission wall stuff, and I may uh, share share it with the with the GMs as well because uh, one of our players, Devil Hunter Wolf, uh, does remixes of midis, and he and he did a few for me. Like he did also did one that was a remix of the actual music for Back to the Future NES that I that I can share as well. But he is really good with that kind of stuff. But Wednesday nights at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern is when we start, and we run through the evenings on that. We're just shuffling right now through an RPG slash long game pack, so it's been a lot of fun. 
Ha, ah, sweet. Well, good luck with all those projects. Uh, I definitely, you should send me a link for the music because I'd love to check it out. Uh, um, I, if you're okay with it, I'll post the Back to the Future NES one in, in the GM chat. If you want more, I can upload that. Yes, do uh, it. At least share that all one. Right. I would love to hear it. I will. Okay, see you later, Time Stalker. See you, bro. Bye. <laughs>